Now from the Columbia Basin, your local news source, this is iFiber One News, presented in high definition. The number one source for real-time local news, local sports headlines, and our very own Weather Center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. With your iFiber One News team, reporting news in real time as it's happening. From the iFiber Communications HD broadcast studio in Ephrata, Washington, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Welcome to iFiber One News. I'm Cody Johnson reporting news from around the Columbia Basin for Tuesday, May 7th. Tonight we report on five teenagers arrested for armed robbery in Moses Lake and how Grant County banned sky lanterns. We also look at how Euphrates is discussing improvements to access of the city pools and what Seattle did when they bought back 716 guns. In sports, a couple WIAA team academic awards came home to the Columbia Basin and the Wenatchee Wild are set to play game five in the division finals tonight. Our spotlight story tonight is about how much people enjoyed the prayer breakfast in Moses Lake. Our, and we have the latest weather forecast for the Columbia Basin from the iFiber One Weather Center. Our top story tonight, five Quincy teenagers were arrested after allegedly taking part in an armed robbery at a Moses Lake convenience store. Three people allegedly demanded money and cartons of cigarettes from the clerk on duty. The suspects reportedly provided a backpack for the money and displayed a firearm. The suspects ran, ran from the Addy Food Mart on West Broadway to a waiting 1999 Ford Windstar van that was parked behind the store. The van was stopped by Quincy Police and Grant County Sheriff's deputies as it entered Quincy. Police took 18-year-old Miguel Martinez and four males ages 14, 15, 16, and 17 into custody. Investi investigators served a warrant and reportedly recovered the backpack with money, cigarettes, and a 22 caliber pistol. All five suspects were booked into Grant County detention facilities on suspicion of robbery in the first degree. Sky lanterns will be grounded in Grant County. The Grant County commissioners approved an ordinance today banning sky lanterns. Lanterns are generally rice paper attached to a wire frame with a fire source underneath. They look similar to hot air balloons with the flame heating the air and sending the lanterns skyward. People found using them face a minimum fine of $150 and a maximum fine of $500. The ordinance is scheduled to go into effect June 1st. Afraid of Fire Chief Jeremy Burns, Moses Lake Fire Chief Tom Taylor, and Fire Marshal Dave Nelson said the lanterns are a potential fire hazard. Burns said the county chief, fire chiefs and commissioners recommended the change following a similar ordinance in Kittitas County. Big Bend Community College showcased its two newest facilities during a grand opening for both the Student Success Center and the STEM Center. Here with the story is Spencer Graham. Big Bend Community College showcased its two newest facilities during a grand opening for both the Student Success Center and the STEM Center on Friday. The expansion and remodeling projects cost $1.2 million in federal grants. Construction began last fall and the facilities were open to students at the start of spring quarter. Uh, this particular grant uh, is one of only um, six in the state. There are only five uh, Hispanic serving institutions and between Heritage University and Big Bend Community College, we have all six. At the Student Success Center, a $400,000 project added 1,500 square feet of space that includes spaces for instruction, group study, service learning projects, mentoring, and college transfer events, along with remodeling of existing office spaces. The much larger $800,000 addition to the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, or STEM Center, includes new math labs, a tutoring center, a digital lab, CAD lab, and spaces for related STEM activities and instruction. Andre Guzman, the STEM grant director, says being Hispanic serving institution helped make Big Bend eligible for federal grants. Here what we're trying to do is students come here, take all the engineering classes and all the math, so when they transfer to our universities, local universities, they go in as junior standing and they've done all their pre-engineering classes. For iFiber One News, this is Spencer Graham reporting with Ryan Lancaster. 
Thanks, guys. People using Euphrates Pool will likely see some changes. City officials are still examining how to comply with the change to the Americans with Disabilities Act, requiring pools at hotels, inns, motels, and other public accommodations to either have a ramp or chairlift. The rule requires two methods of access into pools. For a Freitas pool, it would mean either installing two chairlifts or placing rails down the center of the pool's entrance. Parks and Recreation Director Ray Towery said the design of the pool doesn't allow the city to place the rails on either edge of the ramp because on one side water from play equipment would be hitting it and the other side has a curved edge. They are still trying to determine how to comply with the law and ensure the changes are safe to swimmers with as little impact during construction as possible. Each of the people you see here have warrants for their arrest and are wanted by various law enforcement agencies. If you see any of these people, the DOC asks you not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but to call police. You can also call the Department of Corrections at 509-764-6180 during the day or 509-762-1160 after 5 p.m. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages with the latest from the iFiber One Weather Center. And we've got sports and more news on the way.